Mr. Beast's apology video slash addressing all the allegations according to the phone call he had with Ludwig. Now, I did talk to Mr. Beast and he echoed what was said in the dog pack video, which is uh, when everything comes out, he's going to make one reply. We'll see when that happens. It just went from an hour 40 minutes to an hour 50 minutes after Doc Pack just woke up today and decided to drop new allegations towards him. The new allegations are pretty serious stuff and I have no doubt Mr. Beast started a new habit of picking out his hair and eyebrows while smiling and cursing at Doc Pack after this new allegation. The new allegations consist of a secret CEO and a secret COO that they have very dark past and presence. Things like white tan tuck husband material, beating his dog, bribing Mr. Beast employees to stay overtime and late with illegal sugar and illegal haram dancers. Being a part of a scheme that took $1.3 million. She was on to describe how they presented it as a safe investment opportunity for her. And then James Warren's business partner defrauded her of $1.3 million. Hating woman so much to a point where you get into an argument with a female employee end up firing her but paying her for the next three years just in case and we have a secret ceo as well who used to work in the adult industry at the time and he was working for mr beast at the time and end up firing and then coming back and giving them a promotion even though everyone thought you know that this person was fired this person allegedly roofy people uh, took advantage of employees essaying a lot of new interns new employees taking advantage of them 18 19 year olds and this isn't the first time that mr beast allegedly hired these type of people we all knew that uh from the previous allegations of mr beast ex-manager where he was registered for tickling some very very young children and honestly i would give you a recap but there are too many videos there's literally channels posting 50 to 100 videos of mr beast but at the same time don't think that they're milking the situation there's just too much allegations going around and people are just talking about it because there is things to talk about me myself i'm at number 13 or 14 i'm not really sure but long story short it is no longer a diddy's party Diddy's party goes out the equation when Mr. Beast jumps in. When someone next time jokes around, makes a meme about, oh, it is a Diddy's party, ha ha ha. You have to come forward and be like, no, it is a Mr. Beast party. You have to correct them in this situation. Now, before we start with these all these allegations, I just want to point out that these everything is an allegation. Even though some of these videos are proven, but they are still alleged. There are still words in the sky. We still need to hear. We still need to hear Mr. B's side and see how he's going to respond to all of these. And then we will be making a very very long ass video talking about Mr. Beasts going through each allegation. Now, start off the video. Doc Pack said in his video that the original part three is still being cooked. This is just a small teaser for you guys to enjoy the part three is going to drop after mr beast responds so one thing is clear now there will be no more expositions until mr beast respond mr beast plate is full and he needs to start eating that plate until the part three original recipe comes out this video is going to focus around one instance of sa i wanted to put all the sa allegations into one video part three final video until uh, jimmy responds at least uh i sort of overestimated how easy that would be um as far as like getting everything approved with victims and lawyers and like i do have sort of that that bigger project the original part three um and i have a lot of other interviews and, and other allegations that uh, i'm working on putting together so i have something for when mr beast responds if his response is bad then i can sort of point out hey he lied here and here and uh he deflected and straw man argument or whatever uh, as well as like dropping new allegations um, and doing it in an opportune way so that they get the most eyeballs. Now, before we jump into the first allegations, I want to update you since I haven't covered this yet. Uh, on the cease and desist letter that uh, Doc Pack received after his first video from Mr. Beast getting a warning. And literally just 24 hours ago, Mr. Beast's new lawyer threatens YouTuber Doc Pack 404 with lawsuit over false claims. Now, this is literally a Logan Paul CoffeeZilla situation that happened in July. Literally, same thing. Now, this isn't helping Mr. Beast's case. It's just making him look even more guilty and guilty. And Doc Pack is just one person I hope any lawyers watching his video, watching this case go forward, would be willing to help pro bono or, you know, will, will be willing to pay a small fee from our monthly paycheck 
to support Dogpack in this situation since he's taking one for the team. Now, with the first allegations, it is about the secret CEO who turns out to be Jimmy's cousin as well. After I called out James Warren by name in my last video, his uh, Instagram and Facebook got taken down and his LinkedIn got taken down. Uh, so it's a quick profile on James Warren. Uh, he's, he's Jimmy's cousin and, and secret CEO. And I say secret because, you know, they're, they're not very open about that fact. Like he, he doesn't post about it on social media. It wasn't ever attached to his LinkedIn. He's never featured or, or really referenced anywhere. I heard that he's very aggressive. I've, I, I've heard him referred to as a psychopath who screams at people and hits his, his uh, girlfriends. Uh, there's allegedly domestic violence charges that were filed against him. Uh, James Warren, also allegedly an ex-drug addict. Uh, I've heard that he he offered cocaine and hookers to editors to stay late. Uh, and, then, and then the really big thing is that there was some incident between him and a female colleague uh, that resulted in the female colleague leaving the company and receiving three years in severance pay. I'm still actively looking into this incident, so if you have information, let me know. Uh, but I've heard from multiple credible sources that this this is true and this did happen. Now, 100% Mr. Beast has a lot of people working for him. A lot of people maybe don't like to be on the camera, and some of the people, they need to be off the camera as well. It is not their choice. It is Mr. Beast's choice, but they end up working there either way. And a lot of people who are apparently leaving Mr. Beast or getting fired, they are getting three-year payment why is mr beast paying so much money i doubt it that it is out of the goodwill of his heart but the only common sense in this is obviously allegedly that it is silent money it is hush money that do not mention any of this to anyone because some mr beast party happened you see how i'm using this as a meme right now i heard many times that ava chris tyson is a major liability but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much and when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. And also with the part two of uh, Dog Pack's video where this guy, the former Mr. Beast employee and contestant, he came forward and he said how he was, you know, tortured. We talked about it as well. I covered it. Apparently, Mr. Beast reached out to him and offered the rest of the money from the challenge, with his, which is $190,000. Ultimately, uh, Jimmy ended up apologizing and offering him $190,000 which to me, I think is, is uh, most likely an admission of guilt. You know, you don't apologize for, for things that you didn't do. Now, before we continue with the next allegations, I want to put a small touch in this. That Yes, it is true that, you know, people will not pay unless they are guilty, but it is also a possibility that Mr. Beast is trying to make himself look good. And it just backfired in his face. Wanted to give a silent fart in class, but ended up shitting himself and embarrassing himself. And everyone, everyone just pointing at him and laughing at him. This is the second accusation that comes against James Warren, which in Dog Pack, he said that this is no allegation. This is pure fact that, that James, before he joined his cousin's company, being the CEO of Mr. Beast, company he was a former real estate agent who was involved in a lot of logan paul activities is that james warren was the former coo of acquisitions of a real estate investment firm called greenstone ventures llc which is one of the businesses listed in this indictment of his former uh, business partner joshua hutchins uh, who was sentenced to 10 years in prison for running a real estate Ponzi scheme. Ponzi schemes are great up until they just go bust. So before working at Mr. Beast, James Warren uh, was involved in a literal fraud. Uh, in fact, he's actually mentioned in the court transcripts uh, uh, of this case. This is the sentence hearing for Joshua Hutchins. I'm gonna highlight testimony from just one of these victims, a retirement age woman named Sylvia. She testifies, I came to know Mr. Hutchins through a very reputable and successful real estate attorney who highly recommended Mr. Hutchins and who eventually left his agency to become the chief operating officer of Mr. Hutchins investment firm. The chief operating officer of Mr. Hutchins investment firm. She explains that the reason she trusted Mr. Hutchins was through the strong recommendation and endorsement from that very reputable and successful real estate agent. Many of us entrusted Mr. Hutchins, who we've come to know to be fraudulent. Just $1.3 plus million dollars of worthless paper signed by him fraudulently misrepresented in the courts. Uh, so Hutchins was convicted for soliciting investment monies by telling victims that their money would be put to work on a specific property. Uh, in fact, Hutchins did not put all the investor funds to work on the property on which the investor was solicited to invest and instead regularly used investor funds on other properties or personal expenses. The impact 
over $1.3 million in real losses. Now, these are not, I got a piece of property. It was all fraud. Now, she goes on to describe her financial troubles through the years, supporting her mother who had Alzheimer's disease, uh, how in the crash of 2008, she lost her job and for two years was unemployed. In 2014, she had a severe cancer diagnosis, was out of work for over a year. She continues, in spite of all that, I've lived very frugally and tried to make things work. I've made him know of all my history and I told him I could not take the risk. He and James Warren, the then realtor, stated, oh, real estate. She goes on to describe how they presented it as a safe investment opportunity for her. And then James Warren's business partner defrauded her of $1.3 million. Now, did Mr. Beast's cousin directly scam this person? No, but he has a responsibility in this situation as well for referring this person who has he has been friends with. He knows who this person is and he vouched for him as well. And according to court documents, he wasn't he didn't get any sort of punishment for it. The guy who did everything got it. But I still believe there needs to be some sort of responsibility on James as well. Now, moving up to the second person in this now moving up to the second secret person in this video, it is the one and only Mr. LaCoya Hill, who started his adults type of industry, sword fighting type of industry in 2017. And he was employed by Mr. Beast in 2019. So now we have a donkey who used to tickle children when he was in his 30s, was Mr. Beast manager. And now we have an alleged CEO of Mr. Beast's cousin himself, who is a white tank top beater who is participated in schemes, who's participated in horrible things in the Mr. Beast company. And the third person is the COO who used to run an adult industry and decided to work for Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast hired him for what reason? To make children content. At this point, I really believe before Mr. Beast hires anyone or, you know, his team, they asked him, what is the most messed up illegal shit that you have done? I f the donkey once. Hired, give him CEO position. Uh, then in 2019, he was hired to Mr. Beast as a producer. Our party evolved into this place where you know you have the drag queens, the muscle daddies, the bears, the twinks, the like possible. However, I question what uh, qualified the sort of go-go dance drag daddy of San Francisco for a job producing YouTube content for children. Well, you know, it'd also be weird if, if Mr. Beast hired uh, Johnny Sins as the janitor, I guess. Uh, it's not the real issue though. The issue is that in late 2021, he was allegedly fired for sex assaulting his assistant uh, and at some point his uh, twitter also got deleted i don't know if that's when he sexually assaulted his assistant i don't know if that's after my first video got posted either way uh, booty call wednesdays are canceled he was actually brought back to mr beast in 2023 after sexually assaulting his assistant prior uh, and promoted to chief financial officer which is how i personally was introduced to him so according to doc pack's video mr beast doesn't actually fire people it is just for the media it is just to make himself look look good even if it's only in front of his employees he secretly removes these people and puts them in another company for them they still have a job at mr beast but it's in a different side it's in a different section this time and he was fired in late 2021 for essaying his employees his interns as we talked at the beginning of the video booking a room in a hotel for when they travel to shoot videos but only putting one bet so they have to share a bet together the new 18 year old intern a lot more disgusting alleged stuff as well but i'm gonna let doc pack cover this and then we're going to talk about it because the next the thing we're going to talk about is very important and i've seen a lot of people miss it uh, so here i have a document uh showing testimony from former mr beast employees uh talking about LaCoya Hill. And uh, when I say verified former Mr. Beast employee, I had them send some form of proof. Um, I, I know who some of these people are. They just want to remain anonymous, but uh, you know, I'm willing to share this with like uh, an independent third party if, if it needs to happen. Personally, I don't think Mr. Beast is gonna deny sort of this LaCoya Hill story that I'm gonna show you. Uh, but here's the first testimony and I'll say this person is, is especially credible in my opinion. I asked them, did you see or hear of any sexual misconduct at the company? They say, yes, LaCoya Hill, the current COO. In 2021, he had an assistant named Victim's Name. I heard LaCoya acted very inappropriately with Victim, booking hotel rooms with only one bed, walking around in his underwear, having Victim come to his house and showing him his sex toy collection. Just in general, LaCoya made Victim uncomfortable. Victim started complaining to higher-ups and a report got written. LaCoya was put on paid leave for like a month 
Then Mr. Beast moved into the dubbing company and he was hired back in 2023 and was promoted to COO, even though Jimmy, James, and Sue 100% know his history. Also, I heard that when Victim was let go, he was given $30,000 in severance. Uh, I could get you Victim's number. I don't know if he'd talk. Uh, I respond, yeah, that'd be great. Also, is there proof he moved to the dubbing company? I could look. It was the original dubbing company called Unilingo. Mr. Beast practically forced them to hire LaCoya, and then they poached Unilingo's employees and copied their whole business and created Creator Global, LaCoya Hill. But they brought him back knowing he had sexually harassed an employee previously. And people often talk about LaCoya making them very uncomfortable on shoots. I verify employee number three. I'm looking into more accusations of sexual misconduct at the company, wondering if there's anything you could corroborate. Have you heard of anything about LaCoya Hill? They respond, the old gay guy who likes to bang 18-year-old straight employees. Yeah, I've heard of him. Anything non-consensual to your knowledge? I heard he got in trouble for hooking up with his 18-year-old straight assistant, but the company kept it quiet from what I heard. He's a producer and worked in the adult entertainment before Mr. Beast. Now, anyone who has a company, especially a company that is, they need to look good in the eye of the public because their whole net worth, everything comes from the people watching their videos. If anything does anything messed up to the slightest, they should be fired. Any history people likes who used to work in a dildo shop or something, they need to be fired. They shouldn't be hired. They should have been. They shouldn't have been hired in the first place. Mr. Beast's videos audience are mainly kids, and the videos are made the kids will mainly watch it. If you hire people like this hill guy, you're going to have another Balenciaga situation on your hands. And obviously, anyone in the right mind would fire these people or never hire them in the first. Let's say you you hired them, then you you didn't know about their history. And then let's say later on you find out about their history. Immediately you are going to fire them. But why is Mr. Beast covering up for them? Why is Mr. Beast hiring them back and promoting them? Not even the same position. Promoting them. Now this is just my opinion. This is all obviously still alleged. But in my opinion, there is blackmail involved. They have something against Mr. Beast. Maybe they're threatening to go public with it. There is something against Mr. Beast that Mr. Beast cannot do anything about it. Or overall, Mr. Beast does not care about these people's history. Tries to give them a second chance. Or maybe he just thinks their work is too good to let them go. Overall, it has backfired since, you know, someone didn't accept the money to the hush money. And decided to go forward and expose Mr. Beast of what kind of a true person he is. And everyone's absolutely on his side in this situation. Now, there are other things in this video. I just covered the most important ones. Definitely go watch it. It's a 28-minute video. Definitely go watch it if you want to know more details. But the rest of it is, for example, Jimmy hating women not liking them and saying i don't know how they find these videos from jimmy's past but he's saying literally on camera that women are only objects for a shakalaka boom boom and they are you know they and men are superior to women and women should obey and all this shit. a youtuber because i want to make a lot of money i mean why else would i be a youtuber well women are stupid because they're inferior to men and because they're inferior they have smaller brains which obviously makes them stupider and that's also why you can't respect women you know but you, you gotta act like you respect them you'll never actually respect a woman but just act like you respect them and you'll be fine with that and uh you also ended up with saying i just want to have sex with them and uh that's pretty normal i mean why else were women created now, i don't know who broke jimmy's heart but this is a heartbreak phase where i hate women get them there they're stupid usually this is the phase where you go you're like i'm gonna be single for the rest of my life i'm sure most of us went through it and didn't want to get into a relationship again for the men watching this video but it's a phase that you go through and you end up you know realizing that people are different than each other and with age people mature and things get better eventually hopefully i still have no idea and i'm still single but overall i hope jimmy the way it looks like it's kind of stuck to him this heartbreak that he had and he took it by heart it was a shit that never got out it's still stuck in him that's why he believe allegedly i don't know what the fuck everything is alleged at this point that he does not like women and he hates women and women are stupid according to young jimmy or maybe at the beginning of his career his niche was motivational testosterone talk 
We don't know. I just thought that video was funny to show. It's not a very big thing. It just gets a hit on him. people liking him. It's not anything illegal. But overall, I think this is the last video until Mr. Beast makes a response video. Hopefully, this will be the last video because I'm kind of tired of this Mr. Beast video. But it's, every time a new allegation comes out, especially a dog pack video, it, it hypes me up. Gets the adrenaline rush up. Especially, literally, I was going to work this morning and I saw dog pack's video and I started watching it. And I was behind a signal where he said that Mr. Beast COO, this hill guy, used to tickle people without their consent and walks around naked in a hotel room with them, with them being there. I forgot that the light turned green and I had a very friendly conversation with the car behind me that was honking at me. But overall, we still have to wait for Mr. Beast's response. I really, really look forward to it, even though I'm tired of this allegation. It still fucking pumps me up. And I want to see how he's going to respond to this 100 percent, he has around 3,000 people working on this case 3,000 lawyers hrs prs uh, mayors everyone but also i'm very curious to know your thoughts in the comments below so make sure you comment them like the video subscribe you know you know the rest i don't need to remind you but you sub subscribe please thank you but yeah take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one